So now we've collected uh, the user's name, it would be nice to do something with it. So at the moment, when I get the answer correct, it says, well done. And it would be very nice, wouldn't it, if it said, well done, Bob, or whatever the name was. Now, it's very simple to do now. We can go into our developer tab, into our Visual Basic, and what we need to do is, after we've got our well done, in fact, I'll do it on the that's wrong one first because uh, I've got that's a long message I've got up in up in there. And I'm going to do it wrong actually, first of all, just so that uh, you can see how that works. So after the um, well done, I'm going to put, in, put inside the brackets, I'm going to put an ampersand, so the and sign, and user ID. Okay? So that's saying user ID we're collecting is, and we now want it to. Um, put that in and as soon as I press save you see that it's gone red so now that's something to look for most lap programming um, allows you to have some check to run a check to see that you've written it incorrectly and in this case it goes red if it's wrong and I'm sure some of you have already worked out that our box is called user ID with no space um, so save it and it stays black it's just put the capital in there for me so let's run that and get it wrong. No, let's not run it like that. I have to run it from the beginning to enter my name. Go on, go on. That's wrong, Bob. But you can see that it's not perfect, is it? Because I've got an exclamation mark in there and Bob's, there's no spacing in the punctuation. So it's all about just getting this just right. So what I need to do is I need to get rid of that and I need to put maybe a comma in and a space so that that will space it out between the that's wrong and Bob. What's your name? Bob. Thank you. Hunting. That's wrong, Bob. So that's how you can use that. So what I would like you to do is to use your the name, the user ID that you've captured and put that into your well done and your uh, not that's not right.